Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Giggle Gaming where today we're going to be carrying on with the Everton FIFA 16 Manager Career Mode and as you can see by the first message there, Umar Nayasi has been sold to Stuttgart for 6 million, we have 5 million added to our transfer budget and we've got a transfer offer for Darren Gibson for 3.4 million pounds if you can pay me up to 4 million pounds Spurs you can have Darren Gibson because at the moment I don't think I'm going to actually use the little fella. Uh, we're coming up to our first league match of the season. They said they are only willing to offer 3.4, 3.6. Just get a little bit cheeky bit of extra money in. Uh, scout report. Let's have a look at the scout report. They're all strikers. We don't actually need strikers at the moment because we do have Romelu Lukaku up front. So that we could do with a backup striker. And I think I know who I'm going to go for. I think I'm going to look to bring in Kelechi Iheanacho as a backup striker for Roman Lukaku, who's obviously a youngster. But if we advance now, we're coming up to the first game of the season, which I believe is against Watford. We have got two offers, well, offers for the remaining players. Gareth Barry and Leon Osman. 2.9 million for Gareth Barry. As I've said before, I want Gareth Barry to finish career at Everton. Leon Osman, I am happy for him to move on, but probably not for 1.2. 2.2 and you can have him. I don't want to sell everyone, but we have got a few left wingers we can play in the side. So as I was saying, Watford first game of the season, we've got some more uh, offers. Brian Oviedo, 1.2. Again, he's our only backup left back. That is his value, and he's only 25 years old at 71 rated. He's probably not going to get too much game time, but he is my backup left back, so I'm going to keep him. Seamus Cole with £14 million. Again, no way am I selling this man. He is a top right back and a very good for like future. They want £7 million for Kielecci in actual. He's 18 years of age. I don't know his overall. I'm guessing it's going to be around the 70 mark, 70. Something like that, 70, 71, 72, something like that. So I'm gonna. My controller's decided it wants to turn off. Uh, I think that is a decent amount of money for him, but I think the 7 million might be a little bit. a little bit too much for me right now. There's me 6 million in the bank. Uh, let's have a little. 5 million. Five million pound will offer you. You can have five million for Kielechi. Yeah, actually, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Sorry if I've butchered that. Advance. All right, we're moving it into August now. Uh, what? They will not pay two point two for Yasmin. They only will pay three point four. And my controller's turned off again. Sorry about this, is it nearly dead? It's not even nearly dead, what is going on? Except off, uh, we're going to sell Gibson for that amount of money. That's not even that much. Uh, it's not exactly a little bit. Again, sorry, we didn't sell him for 1.2 to Norwich. We're not going to sell him to you for 1.1. 1. 1. Uh, there we go. Um, Kielechi and actually 7 million. Uh... Six. <laughs> We're trying to literally scrounge off little bits of money that we can, as we obviously not got a huge amount of money, as we are Everton, and obviously they've not got a great amount of money. Players sold. That will be I don't know. Dan Gibson probably. Yeah, Gibson. But here we go. They said yes to the six million of Ian Acho. We're going to give him thirty k a week. That is what he's on at the moment. Uh, we'll give him 20% goal bonus and do not specify the role because he's probably not going to get into the first 11 too much. But we are now just one day away from the start of the Premier League season. Here we go. Let's look at the um, side, change it up a little bit. Oh. For God's sake, let me just get the charger in the controller. Alright, here we go. Got a useless controller. 
Sorry about this. Here we go. Turn on quickly. Come on. There we go. All playing the home kit. They playing their home kit. Our team is going to be Forster in goal, Stones and Jagielka centre backs. Baines left back, Coleman right back, McCarthy and William Carvalho, who's already an 82 rated now in the central defence and field positions. Morales on the left. What the hell is wrong with my controller? It's even on charge now. We'll play Delfo on the right and we'll play the Carker up front. We'll see you in the game. Okay, here we are at Goodison Park, the home of Everton Football Club, to play our first game against Watford. Here we go. World class. Let's hope we can get a win. Here we go. James McCarthy. What's he going to do with it? He's going to play it back to Barry. What? Why is Barry on the team? I put Carvalho in the team. Alright, maybe because my controller turned off, it's done all the changes. So, I haven't actually got Carvalho on the pitch. I don't think he's even on the bench. God sake. Here we go. We've got a free kick. In quite a dangerous position, we're going to bring this one short. John Stone short, and then look at Delafoe on the edge of the box. Gerard Delafoe, what's he going to do? Oh god, mess this up. McCarthy into Barkley. Then Gareth Barry, the man, is going to probably get to only game. Oh, we should have probably done a little bit better than that. Amrabat with a chance to cross the ball in now. He crosses it in. Get it out. Good catch from the new goalkeeper on his debut. Fraser Forster. Here we go, Gerardo. Oh, no. He's done. Um, Coleman shoots. And it's wide of the post. But that's probably the best chance of the game so far. And it goes to Watford after 23 minutes. Here we go. A chance for Audio Ingalo. John Stones has done quite well. But not well enough. Uh oh. Etienne Kapu. Plays it back to Agarlo, crosses it in. Good header from Gareth Barry to get the ball out of play, though. Lukaku, we can on a fast break here. Fast break here from Lukaku. There's no one helping him out, though. No one on the wing. No one making any sort of run. He's going the whole way by himself, though. Look at him. Use Coleman. Coleman! Yeah! It's water to start. 37 minutes in. On the break from a nice header away. And Lukaku run the distance of the pitch before setting up Coleman. And the first goal in this career mode is scored by the right back, Seamus Coleman. Oh no, Capu's got a chance here. He takes a shot. What a save by the debutant, Fraser Forster. But they've got a corner now. Hopefully, this corner is going to lead to absolutely nothing. And it's a goal kick. Yeah, goal kick to us. Praise for the take. Come on, let's go on to win this match. Easy. We're approaching half time now, and it's 1 0 to us. We're doing pretty well, in my opinion. They've got a chance here. Easy catch, praise the four star. Their player decided to die strange. But let's just hold on to half time now, or even if we can, sneak a cheeky second goal. There's a chance here for Lukaku. He's going to keep it. Mm, oh, half time. Everton won. Watford nil. Let's have a look at the stats for the first half. Match stats. There we go. We've had one shot and scored one goal. They've had three shots and scored one. Uh, not scored, sorry. So it's 1 0 to us, and it looks to be all Watford at the moment. So we should probably not be winning this game. Let's get into the second half and win the match. Here we go. Chance here. Cock returns. Finesse shot. Is that taking a deflection? Yes, it has. It is a corner to us. Let's have a little look. Gareth Barry to take the corner. Lovely corner. No head on to it, though. But it does come out to Gerard Delafoe, who's got a chance here to run at someone. Here he goes. That's a foul. Right, we have a free kick now. He takes it very quick indeed. Here we go. Seamus Combe. The goal scorer himself. Plays it to James McCarthy. Who gets to cross into the box? So Ross Barkley. Oh, that is a shocking header. Probably should be 2-0. No, it's not. It's a corner. So we're going to bring someone short and then look to use the man on the box who is Gareth Barry. Can he hit them? Can he hit them? Oh, no. Shocking. We probably should have just hit it. Chance if Watford as Gerardo goes up the wing. Oh, Gerardo Delafoe makes a mistake. Oh, no. No, 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 no. All right. 
We're going to make some subs now that chance has just gone begging. So, Gareth Barry off. Message on. Got a foe off. Lennon on. What strikers have we got on the bench? No one. And... That's it for now. We're going to make the two subs just Gareth Barry for Bessage and Delafeu for Aaron Lennon. Right, Lennon, probably his first touch since he's come on. He's done him. Barkley 2 0. Ross Barkley with the second goal, a very promising player, and he's made it. Everton 2, Watford 0. Come on. Toffees are two up against the Hornets. Let's look for many, many more. Here we go, break on now because there's a lot of men forward for Watford as they're trying to get back in the game. Ross Barkley has a lovely ball. It's not so great though. Oh, you ref, mate. You can't give a foul play. He's already on the floor and panting on the run over. The Cocker gets the first yellow card for the crew road for us. Here we go. That's the end of the game. Everton have managed to win the match. Two goals to nil. Great start to the Grimo for us. And the two goals coming from Coleman and Ross Barkley. Very good indeed. Let's advance and look to who we play in the second game of the episode and second game of the season. I think, if I remember correctly, it was Southampton. But we actually have done a very good start there. City have accepted. Wait, we've already done that. We've already been through that. What am I on about? Right, they're sort of squad out for the next game. Barry, get out. Get Carvalho in. Lennon out. Actually, Lennon can start this game. And we're going to start with Funes Mori. No, and yeah, actually, we will. No, no, we won't. He will go on the bench though. He deserves to be on the bench instead of Pennington. There we go, that's gonna be the team. Yes. Alright, so let's advance. Got contract offer accepted. We have got a backup striker, Kielechi Ianacho, I think is how you pronounce it. Six million pounds we spent on him. So we need him to do well as a backup striker this game on the bench. So I said 70, 72 rated, so I'm sorry. Around that area, and he's 73 rated, I think I said yes. So he will definitely be getting some good use out of us as an 18 year old. He can progress. Progress quite quickly and quite well. Alright, let's advance to the Southampton match, where it will be a difficult game. Here we go. Southampton away, I believe, as well. Oh, yeah, we sold Hibbert to Southampton. What was that message? And we also forced a return to Southampton. The focus doesn't run out. Hibbert returns to face former club Everton. So, let's get into the game. You've seen the team. William Carvalho making his debut with Kielecce Iacho on the bench. Let's get into the game. Alright, we are in the game, we're at St. Mary Stadium, back to the home of Fraser Forster, who now plays for us, obviously, on this game. Lennon getting his first start of the season, as he did do pretty well when he came on. Carvalho making his debut, the number 7 for Everton. Let's hopefully win this match. Yeah, William Carvalho with a good little movement to start off on his debut. Good effort, good start to the game for both us and William Carvalho's debut as he has a very good opportunity straight away. From this corner, let's make something straight to McCarthy in the edge. Wow, that ball has flew past my window there. And I don't live anywhere near Southampton. Here we go, a chance to Southampton. Mane, luckily, a very, very poor shot, so we get away with that one. There's a chance here for Romelu Lukaku, turns inside, finesse shot, 1-0 to Everton against Southampton. We celebrate in front of the Southampton fans. Lukaku, the main striker with his first goal of the season, top stuff from them, boy. And it gets us in the lead, away to Southampton. Oh, Southampton, here. oh, they've hit the post. Oh my god, don't give it back to him. Classy with a very good effort, but luckily for us, he managed to hit the post. Corner, great fist away 
from Fraser Forster, but there's still opportunity here for Classy, who's had a very good opportunity already in the post. Rodriguez back to Classy, back to Rodriguez. William Carvalho, though, does a superb job and wins it back. Break on here. Is there a break on here? Lukaku with one goal already in this game. Showing brutal strength to play into McCarthy. He plays it into Ross Barkley. One goal already this season. It's cleared away, but only as far as Leighton Baines. Uses William Carvalho, who somehow managed to lose the ball. And now the break could be on for Southampton. No, because they're attacking too slowly and we've allowed players to get back behind the ball. Approaching half time here, and Southampton are on the attack just for half time, but Jagiel managed to get ahead on it and get the ball out. Let's have a note. We're still on goal there, technically, certainly, but we're not going to argue. We're one up at half time. Hopefully, this second half is going to be very, very good. They're making a sub. Romero on for Ward Prowse. Come on, Everton. Let's continue the good form and win the match. Davis throw here, deflection off Phil Jagielka straight into Fraser Forster's hands. Not a great throw, but is there going to be another chance or is it going to die out like the attack that I'm too slow for? It is going, they've still got the chance, but they've managed to lose the ball. Aaron Lennon with a very nice work in it to win it back. And there's a break on here for us now. Lukaku again, he likes his little breaks, but again, it has died out. Lots of space on this wing by himself now. What's he going to do with it though? He's turning inside a bit. Uses William Carvalho. Gets a block on it though. And then Horn collects it, which now we're going to make some substitutions. Will Lukaku off, Ian Acho on, and Morelis off for not cleverly Delafeu. Then we're going to just play Delafeu on the left wing for now. So we just horn kick it out now. Hopefully, with the substitutions we make, that can give us an extra edge to just keep the lead and maybe even go on to get a second. Let's just keep calm, ref. Yeah, there's no need to pull out the yellow card. Yellow card. All right, so here we go. The debutant comes on. Kielechi Ianacho. We've now got two debutants on the pitch at the same time. Ianacho and. William Carvalho is still on, so hopefully these two can show us what they're made of and set the world on fire. But Ian Acho's first touch there, not great. Chance on the wing here for Charlie Austin. Oh no, we've made a mistake there with Phil Jaggy Yolka sliding in. There's definitely a chance now. Oh, what a save. Raised the four straight near post. Unbelievable, Jeff. But now they've got a corner. Dusan's had it to take. Crosses it in the box, but luckily Barkley is there. He doesn't actually win it too well, but it still gives him an opportunity. Only as far as Baines to William Carvalho, who's done very well there and played a lovely, not so lovely ball up to Kielecci. Here we go, there's been a mistake here made by them. Layton Baines wins it back and puts Kielecci in actually through on his debut. 2 0. The youngster scores on his debut in the 90th minute. Everton are on fire. Your teams are terrified. Come on, Kielecci and Acho. He makes it 2-0. He probably seals the deal for Everton. Hopefully, they can continue to work on and win the league, maybe. Because, you know, we can win the league. But we're approaching the end of the match now, and it is 2-0. We are absolutely dominating this game at the moment. We've we've done it. We've, we've won 2-0. We've won it easy. Let's go look at the league table now before we end the video. So it was a good win. I mean, I think we truly did deserve that win. I mean, William Carvalho was very good in this debut, and obviously Kianachi. Ian Nacho came off the bench quite late on, but still got himself a goal through a mistake. We are top of the league after two games. Obviously, most teams have only played one, but we're still top of the league because we are the best. Anyway, that's me in the video here. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. If you're new around here, please subscribe. Until next time.